where I'm gonna... Now, now, cool your jets. Hold off on the emotional outburst until you see my entire performance. What? Whoa. What? What's going on? There's one hell of an explosion that he's got going on. Say it. I only want you to say one thing, Helmer. If you just came on screen and said Udu, I would be so happy. What the? What is that? Oh, did you think the song in Nephilim was big? No. Impossible. Just say Udu, man. Or you can tell me what that was. What it can't be? What is it? Why does everybody know what it is? It was supposed to be destroyed. Nothing is ever destroyed. Proto Merkaba. Proto Merkaba. Proto Merkaba. The place where I was born. Oh, so it's a homecoming. Why is everybody scared then? That bastard summoning needless toys. You've forgotten your duties, haven't you? Is that blue man? He looks purple. Never mind that. Come back, Virgil. Virgil? What's your problem? I don't take orders from you. What? And stop talking inside my head like that. I'm not used to it yet. I'm afraid you'll need to get used to it. That's... How? Why is there a naked shoe? <laughs> Virgil. So that's what this is all about. You're quite the cunning little bastard. All right then. But next time, I'm doing things my way. That's what's intended. Virgil's dead. Cosmo. Did you say this is where you were born? Cosmo shot him. Yes. Minigun. Daddy gathered together the data he needed to create me on Milsha, and then he sent it to Proto Makaba. Are you saying that this thing was built for the purpose of creating you? That wasn't its original purpose. Why does it need to be so big? It was created to discover the true form of the universe. It's almost the size the of the universe. The form we ourselves were meant to have. Wait, what? But then he took it and... Exactly. Just think for a moment about all the phenomena brought about by that lunatic. If that thing, the song, and the Zohar all linked together, that's exactly why we dropped it into the abyss after we recovered the 100 series. How is it that it has returned again? I don't know, but the original is still on Milsha. So? With only Proto Merkaba, he can't. He needs the original Zohar to... What? Obviously, I need to keep him from getting it. But but what is he trying to do? And he's turning the whole freaking thing! Look at the size of it! Oh, it's got a death ray. More nurses in. That light. It's just like in the cosmos. Use Dex Buster. It uses the same technology that Cosmos uses, huh? Does that mean Cosmos could be as powerful as that thing? Originally, this thing, the Song of Nephilim, and the Zohar were a single apparatus. 
The Gnosis which seek the Zohar are responding to the faint waves that emanate from the sealed off Milsha. This thing uses the Gnosis as a medium to collect the waves from the Zohar and store the energy it needs in order to operate. How the hell do you know all that? It was Mapesh. When I linked with her consciousness, I learned how to use this thing. It's not your fault, Momo. I'm really quite grateful. <laughs> Damn it. Five minutes, or perhaps ten. You look a little pale there. Scared, are you? Just a bit. Perhaps I should just turn you all to pillars of soul. That's not a bad idea. I won't look, I swear. <laughs> Don't turn me into soul. Red will become white. <laughs> Stop speaking in metaphors. Even though I get them all. Don't mock us, you bastard! <laughs> so what to do? <laughs> all right. I know. My next target will the weapon is retargeting. I can see that. It's aiming straight for the capital of Second Milsha. The freaking what capital. Did you say? Exactly. Those 100 series are sharp, aren't they? I won't let you do this. Listen to me, Albedo. You stay right where you are. It's time for you and me to settle this. <laughs> oh, please. That's not like you at all. A damn about others, do you? What? What? Well, fine. Stop me if you can. Come on, let's make this one on one still. <laughs> With a I'll be waiting. <laughs> powered up junior. We're going to Albedo. Scott Albedo is a great voice actor. Damn it. I need to look up who did that. I think it was the like somebody did too. The target is a giant experimental facility that was long abandoned before its completion. A network of tunnels runs through the facility, and the reactor core is located at the nexus where they all meet. All we have to do is take out that reactor, right? Correct. That'll shut down Proto Merkaba completely. The data I sent to you earlier includes a map of the most direct route to the core. Right now, you are our only hope. I ask you on behalf of the Federation government and as a member of the human race to destroy that abominable machine once and for all. Mommy. Hi, Mommy. So, yeah. The entire fleet has been destroyed and it is up to our pack of six more or less people. <laughs> Technically, I, I mean, we have what? What we got with us? We got we got a human, a human, uh, an android, something. The hell are you, Chaos? A cyborg, a realian, and a URTV, whatever that means, with us. It is up to us to save, not the world. Everything, the whole universe, from freaking albedo and this giant ass freaking proto Markaba. freaking huge. What the hell is it? Yes, the song and Ephilim and the proto Markaba. What in the world did he want to do by creating those things? Really, I don't understand the minds of geniuses. It's because you're southern. Uh. <laughs> sorry to all my southern fans. I'm sorry she was begging for it. Kind of. Not really. Proto Merkaba. Unofficial reports say that Proto Merkaba was sent into the abyss by the Federation government after Roki Mizrahi's death was verified during the Malaysian conflict. In other words, it was supposedly thrown into the double black hole that developed near Old Milsha. I can't say I've ever heard of a double black hole before. Technically, I guess it could exist just like a binary star exists. And they would like dance around each other, but I don't know how you could ever see that they were 
to whatever they got advanced technology sure a double black hole why is something that was discarded in a black hole here there may be a discrepancy between historical fact and what actually happened so there's no such thing as a white hole is what you're saying okay I'm on to that it's set to access fire we believe the second shot will be fired in 10 to 20 minutes uh, so I'm going to take probably a couple hours to do other things. Yeah. Just just the way that it works. They're merging into the proto Markaba one after another. They're becoming a part of it. That doesn't sound good at all. Yeah, talk to you. We'd seriously get blown to pieces. Not even the Durandal could survive a shot like that. Yeah, no shit. They took out the whole freaking fleet. We're not, we're not even going to address how many lives that is. I, I, I lost count after fleet. Our shots aren't hitting them at all. I can't believe it. The Foundation's main cannon is supposed to be, be able to penetrate any kind of energy shield, but he's got some kind of field. Why do they need a, such a huge thing to manufacture the 100 series observational units? Have some other purpose? Yeah, that's kind of my question, too. Why was it so big to create Momo? All right, let's go. Now... It is, nah, but I got in a little trouble for saying this last time, but we are not fighting right now. So technically, it is peacetime with Xion, even though the, the, the entire world could be, the entire universe, well, the second Milsha, at least, could be destroyed in 10 to 20 minutes. It is still technically peacetime for Xion right now, so we get emails. Uh, we are very close to the end of emails, I believe. Uh, yeah, uh, just this little series right here, and then one more. Yep, 51 total. This is number 48. Uh, we have uh, permission to use Tech Attack. This is the fourth one. Now we have access to our dragon. Oh, I'm already in love with this thing. We'll see if I can level it up to use. Uh, we might as well see if I can take a look at that right now. Uh, let's see what we do have for Cosmos. Let's take a look at our dragon. One attack, one enemy near hit attack with a dragon arm. Oh, that does sound sweet. That sounds very, very nice. Uh, but, you know, I'll have to take the time to level that up. That's the issue. But if we move on some more, we get another email for Xi'an. Who cares? 10 to 20 minutes? Nah, email time. Uh, this is what we get for having dealt with uh, the Snake Charmer case, the hackers, if you remember. Uh, I had mentioned before that if you had guessed wrong on where the hacker's sister was, uh, you would get 100,000 uh, gold, 100,000 G. Whatever. Uh, gold, G, whatever. And you might have been thinking, why didn't you do that? Because of this one right here. If you guess right. Uh, oh. We find Panspelmia. But now she goes by FNM. Faith no man. Or a man without faith. So maybe Panspelmia is a guy's name? Maybe. He just uses I the whole time, so it's kind of hard to say uh, they d he found Bunny. Uh, the only two descendants of co-evolutionary GA that I'm aware of are Bunny and myself. So, I, I forgot what GA stood for, but it was supposed to be bad. But Bunny is a another AI project. Just as strong as Panspelmia was, but nobody seems to care. Bunny was not what I expected AI to be like in the future. I don't think anybody expected Bunny. Well, maybe the Japanese do. Uh, Raz, the snake charmer, was employed to break into the Damarung's mainframe, and she was caught by our company's security unit. Okay, sure. She was placed in a treatment tank and remains in deep sleep. So... They we learned that she had an illegal clone, her older brother. Uh, using my instructions, he, uh, the, the older brother, hacked into the second R&D division's machine cluster. 
and love the snake charmer the first one uh, was released and immediately brought to him Raz, who was supposedly sleeping in a tank, sensed Lev's neural activity. She had mistakenly thought he committed suicide and tried to get out to seek revenge. So Raz didn't actually commit suicide. Lev just thought he did because they're clones and they can link up like that. Uh, when Raz broke into the Damarung, she looked at a highly classified file. She assumed Lev's death was associated with this information. I wrote that threatening email you got from Raz after reading her thoughts. So Raz never actually emailed us, uh, but since we got the, the answer right, the, the Quad Inventor scandal is as Raz alleges. I tricked and destroyed the Quad Inventor. I masterminded the prohibition of enhanced AI development by the Federation, but my intent was completely different. Uh, my neural net is still far inferior to a realians. So Panspelmia isn't as good as a realian, but it's, it's still illegal for whatever reason. Uh, Quantum Venture was the only obstacle to my transfer to Vector, which is where uh, FNM wanted to go. Panspelmia, either way. It's true that enhanced AI are a danger to competitive systems like Coevolution. Then there are the AI who secured some stability. Bunny and I agreed that we should seek intellectual evolution for the sake of all enhanced AI. Uh, as a result, they've got a lot of profits. I considered assimilating Bunny into 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 Panspelmia, but no, no, they're not going to do it. I had to talk to you. For the trouble, we deposited two hundred thousand G into your account. Please use it to fight the Gnosis. So, uh, by guessing uh, right, which was the Durandal, which was where we assumed Raz was, we do get two hundred thousand gold, an extra hundred thousand than if we had guessed wrong. Yeah. Do you have anything to say about this, Bunny? So it looks like you've discovered who I really am. Yeah, knowing that FNM is an enhanced AI helped me acknowledge the fact that you were still alive. I think you should trust that. You're right, but even so, it's a spectacular story. Snake Charmer's older brother and younger sister what? concealed constructions from years gone by, Panspelmia, or FNM. All said to be the best choices for the future of AI converging at one point. I support FNM's opinion. How about you? I have mixed feelings, but looking long term, his opinion may be right. It must be something that is necessary in order for us, enhanced AI, to secure happiness in future generations. I pray that the price must be paid for that happiness is not in vain. So, there we go. Uh, that is resolved. I'm not sure if I understood everything that was going on with that because I was skimming it, but the important thing is that we are even richer than we used to be. Now we are pretty much set. Uh, I, the money, by the way, in case you were wondering, is pretty much for eggs, upgrades, and that kind of stuff, but I, I, don't be, I haven't been using that. So now we're up to uh, just over 300,000 G, which tells you how important... 200,000 really is, and we get yet another email for Xion. No, no, I'm not joking. Uh, yes, the Song of Nephilim has been opened up. Thank you. That was, that was necessary. We are done. And I believe that is actually it for here, for a little while. I say for a little while. There is one last one that we need to get, but uh, that, that, that one's, I'm going to put off for a little bit. Uh, let's go back to the dock because I would like to get back on board the Elsa, not only because they have a save point you know, kind of right there, but also because there is a door in the basement of the Elsa that we need to open. One of those segment address doors. It has been a little bit since we have done that. So let's go to the dock. I am going to go to that save point and save there, as you might expect. And that is actually going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. I am joined, as always, by the last hope for mankind. Shion, Koimsmos, and Chaos, Ziggy, Momo, and Junior are also with us. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.